So in order to use nano mesh, you first need to create a nano mesh brush. I'm going to take this mesh and we're going to create an insert mesh brush. And then once you've got that insert mesh brush, if you say create nano mesh brush, what it's going to do is it's going to create a new Z modeler, which you can see right here, which the Z modeler now has that brush in it. Now I want to apply this to this surface. What I'm going to do is within my nano mesh, I'm going to make sure the insert nano mesh is applied and I'm going to apply it to all polygons. And when I drag this object out, you're just going to see that it fills out everything that I've got here. And as I adjust this object from here, you'll notice that it's going to keep the nano mesh according to whatever settings that I've got here. It's because it's not a real mesh yet. And I can adjust a lot of things in terms of how much rotation variation that I've got and stuff like that in here. And I think that's all going to be stuff that you might want to just explore on your own. But once you have something that you like and you feel like it's got some good variation, oh, one important thing is that this random distribution is going to affect how many of them you get. So you, you can actually do fewer across the whole thing if you want. Um, of course, adding up to millions, which I think in this case we'll just keep it kind of simple and then I'm going to apply this to be a real mesh now and we'll do that in geometry and it's convert BPR to geo and that will now make this into a mesh that is editable.